topic would be how to secure that job 101. Okay. So what do you think is the best resume? Mine, ma. <laughs> <laughs> mine is like uh, 2011. Then I'm like, I'm so confused. What are you writing? I think along the way, all of us did share about the worst resume, what we don't want to see. I did receive resume that never indicate their phone number and email address in the resume. Oh, so it's them. very very hard oh. to contact. I, I don't even know how I can contact them. So I just ignore. <laughs> Cause no way to find them. And then um job street one right, sometimes the information is not updated, mm. so I cannot call their phone number. Mm, there's a lot of blank in the resume which I also don't like it. Cause I don't know like what you have done previously. People who don't want to write the description for the job, right? They come, right? I take what they buy, meaning I say, can you write down all the job? <laughs> because you don't want to type, ma? Mm. I let you write, no? <laughs> if you take the effort to write, right? Then this person means sure that, sincerity. yeah, sincerity, mm. which is my way of like testing them out also, la. Mm. Mm. When you interview a candidate, right? Mm. Is there any you know, candidates that you see whose outfits are a bit more low? Slippers. Oh, what <laughs> shorts? What? Singlet and oh, shorts. Like maybe they like to wear like sandals. Like oh. I understand that um maybe it's comfortable. Like because usually over the phone um when we arrange an interview, <laughs> we are not very strict over the attire for us lah. Because we just want you to come down to have a face to face discussion. Like usually people will try to make the effort to be presentable because they understand that it's still an interview. Mm. Uh, but there are some special cases where people come out in like sandals or shorts, that kind of thing. Mm. Or like maybe like a very um uh like a t-shirt with like a lot of holes, that kind of thing. Like mm. Mm, it's not the most presentable. I don't think it's something that you want like your company, like your future company to see you wearing. If you dress nicer, right, that shows that you respect the job and also you respect the interviewer. Mm. Yeah and that will boost your confidence as well, like in terms of your speaking skill, yeah, overall presentation. Mm. So I think it's not advisable just simply wear and go for an interview. Not sure if you want to do this, nah, but I tend to love to tell my interviewee that's attending to dress appropriately. Lah. Mm. I'll keep it as general as it is because I want to see what is their mindset okay. and their thoughts. So if I tell them to dress appropriately and you come in shorts and t shirt, right, then I'm like, hmm. What makes you think you're qualified for this job? Oh! Ah! Don't punch me! Don't punch me. <laughs>
arrange one interview with him lah. Then after that, I sent him the interview details and I even called him and said that Oh, I have sent you the interview details, so can you read through and all that. Then, um, after that, a few days later, he suddenly ap uh, uh, appeared in our office here. Yeah, then oh. I was like very very shocked like why did you come here? Actually for the interview location is at Boon Lay. Oh. Yeah, oh. it's at the west side. Supposedly it's interview with the client, not with me. But he thought that he can come down here for an interview with the client. But I have indicated all the details in the interview details already. Yeah, yeah so we really have to... Uh, read through the interview details. Yeah, bum, bum. Mm. All right, the museum is that way, so let's fold the map and go. Okay, a couple more folds. Nope, okay, wrong end. Let's see. Nope, nope, that's wrong. Find the corners. It's not a puzzle, Chris. Actually, it's very important. I've been for this interview. I have uh, Kenny and Kim down. I think she was too bling. Yeah, so the whole time I was really very distracted. So you asked me one of the key things and the most memorable is that she was too bling. <laughs> yeah. Too bling. Too bling. What, 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 don't put your phone on the ringing mode because it distracts all of us and it's a no-no during an interview. Don't text us or don't text your friend while we are talking to you because that will tell us that you will probably be too busy texting everyone while you are at work. Mm. True, true. Yeah. Always keep our phone to silent mode. Hmm. Yeah, no, most of us, you know, in fact, even for yourself, imagine you're talking to someone and the person is like playing with the phone. I don't think you want that. So, if you don't want people to do that to you, please don't do it to us. Mm. Mm. And let's say if someone call you in the middle of the interview, right, you have to see whether if it's urgent. Like, you can. Well, you didn't even let that answer. I will not let that like, answer. It can better, Donna, but it's really, really urgent. Like, for example, from your parents. Like you, you have the sense of urgency. Then I think can uh, But if usual case, don't better don't answer the phone calls during the interview. I have a very very conscientious uh, candidate I ever interviewed before. So uh, there was really going to be a uh, urgent or in, uh, critical. Uh, matter that was going to happen at home and then before she even started interview she literally tell me straight away you know hi um, you know just to highlight to you i'm actually waiting for a very important phone call for my family uh, because uh, this situation happened at home mm -hmm. uh, yeah so just to highlight to you that i'll have to keep my phone on the ringing mode it's not that i don't want to give you my attention it's that it's very critical i think if you highlight to us at the start of an interview all of us will respect that you really need to look into this matter and if your phone ring we'll definitely respect you to let you take a, a, a quick step out of the room or we'll excuse ourselves you know, so that you can actually pick up that call. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, you have come to the end of the video so don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this. And if you have learned anything from our video today, please feel free to comment down below and also if you have any topics that you want us to discuss, you can also comment down below. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye! -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.